The Catholic Church has a rich history, and its liturgy has undergone various refinements to its formalities throughout the centuries. One of the most significant changes was the transition from the Greek liturgy to the Latin liturgy, which is attributed to St. Peter and his successor, Pope Linus. St. Peter was the first bishop of Rome and the vicar of Jesus Christ and his church. He is believed to have established the Latin liturgy, which is still used in the Catholic Church today. The liturgy is characterized by the common use of a universal and ecclesiastical Latin language and its focus on the sacrifice of the Mass. St. Peter passed down the liturgy to his successor, Pope Linus, who was the second bishop of Rome. He was instrumental in continuing St. Peter's work in spreading the Catholic faith and promoting the use of the Latin liturgy. Under Pope Linus's leadership, the use of veiling for women during Mass was introduced. This practice, which is still observed in traditional Catholic churches today, involves women covering their heads with a veil during Mass, based upon St. Paul's teachings in 1 Corinthians. The veil symbolizes modesty and humility, and it is seen as a sign of respect for the Eucharist and the presence of Christ. The sacred Roman liturgy was then fully codified in perpetuity from the dawn of the 16th century by Popes Paul III, Julius III, and Pius V during the Council of Trent. The traditional Latin Mass was then also known as the Tridentine Latin Mass, and any change or removal to this Mass or the liturgy was strictly forbidden and would anathematize any faithful who would dare try. Pope Linus's contributions to the early formation of the Catholic Church and the sacrifice of the Mass have had a lasting impact. The traditional Latin liturgy remains an essential part of the Catholic Church's tradition, and the use of veiling for women continue to be observed in all traditional Catholic churches around the world.